Welcome Forex Traders. Welcome to my live day trading room. Well, uh, I think this is episode number 66 already. Um, and uh, take you on over here to my equity curve. It's sitting in uh, that same drawdown. Kind of uh, been waiting for that markets to flush out. And looks like we're starting to see possibly coming to the end of the market. So <clears throat> once we uh, start breaking out of this uh, drawdown and we see an end to this uh, to the bearish phase of this market we start uh, going back into the bullish which we may we may already be heading back into the bullish territory um, I want to go ahead and check out the dollar and see where we're at with the dollar okay so we did bounce <clears throat> we, we've been looking at this here um, came down bounced on the support now this is the uh, bear market right here as the dollar goes up all, all of these uh, pairs have been going down they've been going down and down until recently and uh, we kind of been having this right here and I think we're gonna have a little bit more in here before we start heading back down but this could I mean that could be enough right there uh, you don't know you don't know how uh, we knew that this was gonna happen um, I just don't know how deep it's gonna go is this is this it where it's at right now is this uh, gonna be something more like this now uh, or we're gonna have like a double top um, and then down so um, we have to be prepared for this so uh, anyways let's uh, let's take a look here let's look real quick at ethereum ethereum's um, been heading up nicely and uh, Bitcoin dominance look at this beautiful wicked out right right in here so we came down hit support came back up hit resistance and we're heading back down again Okay, so that's good for all uh, all altcoins, and let's go ahead and move this back on over, and let's take a look at our forex charts. But uh, first, you know the drill. If you're interested in how I trade, let's go. Okay, I've been waking up throughout the night, just kind of checking the charts, um, getting as much sleep as I can. So I feel like this is going to be kind of a, a wild week. So I ended wild. It ended wild last week, and uh, and I think we're in for a show. Um, we had this big move here on the uh, euro yen. Uh, euro dollar moved also, um, not as much, but it definitely moved. Um, the Australian yen instead of going down, it's been kind of like whoa. -oh, maybe we're going heading back up now. Uh, look at this on the uh, pound now what I'm really 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 and look at look at the, this is the uh, their rate decision and they said they're not gonna cut rates they're not even close to cutting rates so we've been uh, getting a massive move out of the uh, pounds um, so anyways the Australian looks like uh, looks like we might be in business so anyways let's let's go one by one and uh, look at our setups here okay First off, um, this is my central pivot on the uh, pound yen, so we're still going to have to come down here and, and hit that central pivot. Um, and look at this beautiful bounce so far for the pound US dollar. And I have a pivot that's my uh, daily pivot, so we're, what I'm looking for is for us to break out of it like this, and we'll, we'll start taking longs. Uh, let's see, Australian yen still got a ways to go to uh, achieve its central pivot. We're getting pretty close now in the Australian US dollar from uh, achieving central pivot. And what's nice is we have the um, we have our daily central pivot just above it. So if we can come down, find support, and then break above, we're looking for for buys, probably in the uh, New York session if that happens. We still have a ways to go here on the CAD yen, kind of a little bit of a runaway price going on right now because it's breaking above its M3. Uh, and Bitcoin's just been on a rocket. Um, been looking really nice lately. And uh, Euro yen kind of had that uh, um, kind of that breakout of its uh, wedge right here. And uh, it's been kind of it looked like it was starting to roll over and then we we, we had a uh oh um, so I was looking for a rollover and then for it to roll back up again but uh, um, if, if this just keeps on going it's not going to give us any entries uh, euro US dollar um, we've had the the swing up 
in kind of like a double top so far on the daily on the uh, weekly central pivot I do have my M2 so I'm eyeing up the M2 right down here if we can come down maybe form like a double bottom come back up above the uh, here then we'll start taking pop shots at the euro um, it's been beaten up and uh, and I think it's looking really good uh, it's starting to fit in our time frame let's take a look at the uh, at the swing trading charts let's see uh, a little bit more of a longer time frame where we're sitting at here and let's zoom out so this is my hourly charts here so this is what I've been looking at what we've been looking at here is um, is this whole level of support uh, I've been talking about uh, from excuse me from this candle wick right here and this candle wick being the top end and then uh, all these levels all these guys in here here uh, these guys here, this guy here, this guy here, all these guys in here, all these guys in here. So this is a thicker layer of uh, support. This whole zone right here being a thicker layer of support going straight across, right? Um, and then this being our monthly take profit zone. And I even have a weekly take profit way down here if price uh, comes down there. But we've shown so far a strong bounce right here last week. Um, and uh, now we're, we're holding below its weekly central pivot. What I'm looking for is a possible uh, double bottom um, and then come out of it. Uh, that would be nice. Um, maybe... Uh, Maybe by next week, if that happens, or it can just start taking off from here. I mean, we could, we could in theory just keep going, but it uh, depends on how how uh, how soon it wants to go. Um, so we're gonna start taking shots at the euro. Today is Monday. It's uh, Monday the eighth of February at four thirty-two a.m. And um, I'm going to go ahead and keep this on a, a time lapse. And it looks like we're probably going to get some action this New York session. A uh, quick little update here on Bitcoin. Just got these uh, big, uh, big candle here suddenly. Um, let's take a look at this here real quick. Uh, we have so we've we've been we've been. Um, buying in these bull bullish buy zones right here uh, kind of had the double bottom uh, and buyers have been picking them up picking it up right here and now we're um, breaking through the uh, central pivot for the week uh, but uh, keep in mind here we are coming up to the daily take profit zone which is right up in here um, and uh, we're also coming into the bullish sell zone which is competing with this top right in here so i'm very curious to see uh and this is like a sudden a sudden move it's not really too much of a build up um so i'm i'm curious to see if this is going to be like a, a reject like a hard rejection like bring it up and then reject it type of deal or if we can sustain this move and build like some flags going on then it might pop again um, what i don't want to see is coming up and then and then slamming down um, some, uh, sometimes on these sudden moves like that, it's a setup. Um, so what I want to see is not for it just just to come start coming straight down. I want to see maybe like a flag out, uh, like a build up, and then and then for it to pop again. Of course, Bitcoin is going to do whatever Bitcoin wants to do. It has its own little personality to it, but uh, that's um, to, to have a healthy breakout. I want to see it flag out and then pop again. You can see Bitcoin right over here. Um, now that now that it's showing here because we don't have the weekend data, it's showing that we already reached uh, uh, the daily target. But uh, with the weekend uh, data, I, I like to use these charts right here, and it's showing me that uh, we're just now coming into the uh, um, daily bullish take profit zone. So let's see how price reacts from there. It's uh, 5.48 a.m. Okay, here we go. We're coming up right now to all-time highs. 
right at the bullish take profit zone for the day. This is why I'm eyeing right here. This is uh, pretty much just above above this right here is all time highs. You can see it right here. Bitcoin alert. All right, that's my alert hitting right now. We're at all time highs, and Bitcoin's just jumping. Look at that thing go. Oh, wow. It is leaping. Bitcoin alert. Okay, let's take Bitcoin off the alert. Bitcoin alert. Yeah, I know. So what we don't want to see is a big dump from here. So here comes the volatility. All the bots are recognizing it. Um, I don't think there's many retail traders at this time on it. It might be some Londoners, some uh, Europeans on it. I think it's still kind of early for any uh, any American or, or um, North American uh, traders to be on this. So probably a lot of Europeans and bots on this one right now. Another area I want to watch out for is this weekly take profit zone that's coming up to. If it's coming up there early in the week, then we might have an issue. Ethereum's doing well. Uh, Dominance Bitcoin is coming up off this uh, bounce here. It's a dollar. Remember, today is uh, the opening of the uh, Bitcoin or the uh, Ethereum CME. So, interesting. A lot of people predicted that uh, Ethereum was going to dump. Uh, because of the past performance of whenever we opened up any type of futures markets for Bitcoin. Bitcoin had uh, um, bit large dumps after it, so today is the opening um, for... But what I always thought was, you know, we were we were pretty much um, overextended uh, when the CMEs opened for Bitcoin. Um, so any type of, any type of um, um, fear or anything, catalyst for fear... Um, was going to dump the Bitcoin price at the end of the uh, last cycle. Um, so I think it was just kind of uh, price action anyways. But um, I, I think that beginning of this uh, cycle like this, <clears throat> or midway through the cycle, uh, I don't think that uh, CMEs is going to uh, dump Ethereum. And look at Ethereum or Bitcoin go. Bitcoin is having a massive pump right now. We're, we're all the way up to 43,000. We went from 38 to 43 here in just a few minutes. $5,000 increase in just a few minutes. Yep. Look at that thing go. Ethereum's uh, coming up to all time highs. Still pumping. Here we go. Still pumping. Uh, almost at 44,000. Coming up into the weekly take profit. What we don't want to see, like I said, is a big dump. I mean, it's nice we're making all-time highs. This is a sudden breakout, though. Suddenly. Let's go ahead and time-lapse this move. Yeah, we're starting to see some more leaps. Uh, here's Ethereum. Ethereum coming up to all-time high. 
Okay, here we go. Did a little bit of research and found out this is a news spike. Uh, and the news is actually solid news. Uh, Tesla has announced it has bought Bitcoin. So this is uh, this is big news right here. Um, and uh, so that, that that's what brought us into a new heights up to 44,000. Right now, it looks like uh, we are flagging out. We don't want to see um, what we don't want to see is this right here. We don't want to see this right here. Um, so what we want to see is possibly a double bottom here and then for it to do one of these right here. That would be uh, that would be a bullish uh, basically riding a 21 moving average. Okay, here we go. Testing the new highs again. Oh boy. Oh boy. Watch out. W watch out. The ceiling's gonna ceiling's gonna get punched through. There we go. Testing all time highs. Oh boy, here we go. There we go. All all new highs again. Oh boy, here we go. Yep, 44,000 just hit. Yeah, we're, we're still pumping. Yeah, we're still pumping. Yeah, here we go. Forty-four and a half. It is still pumping. Getting close to forty-five thousand. So the number is uh, 1.3 billion in uh, Bitcoin from Tesla. Okay, that uh, that's a uh, in fact is 1.5 billion into Bitcoin from Tesla. Okay, so I have the statement right here. Uh, we invested an aggregate of 1.5 billion in Bitcoin under this policy and may acquire and hold digital assets from time to time or long term. Moreover, we expect to begin accepting Bitcoin as a form of payment for our products in the near future, subject, uh, subject uh, to applicable laws and initially on limited basis. We may or may not liquidate upon uh, receipt. So that's big news. Oh boy, here we go again. I feel like we're frozen right now. I feel like we're frozen here. Okay, we just had a new candle. Yeah, okay, no, we're not frozen. Okay, so while uh, Bitcoin kind of consolidates and finds its way, let's take a look here real quick at the market. Get a big move right now on the euro. Um, and uh, it looks like because the central pivot for the week is right up here and my daily is down here, um, we're probably going to, if we don't have that dip down below today, then we're going to be looking at taking that trade for tomorrow. Um, also, if that occurs, uh, remember that I already have the bounce um, for 
the pound, and uh, this is a very valid trade saddle for today. Uh, so we're looking for it to break back above the uh, daily central pivot. Um, so uh, the yen still haven't uh, come down to give me my um, my trade setups. Uh, so we're going to be watching those closely. So it's uh, 6.57. Uh, we are 57 minutes into the New York session. Uh, it's uh, 7.32 a.m. Now we're in 32 minutes into the uh, New York session. I'm showing that uh, the pound is peaking its head above the uh, above the uh, daily central pivot. Remember, we had that trade set up, so we're going to be watching that closely for a long. Day there we go. trade alert. And we have uh, the euro breaking and making a new high for the week. Um, that's going to bring up the uh, pound as well. Okay, so we're really close now to uh, to this candle closing here on the mar uh, stock market's going crazy right now, pumping hard. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and place this uh, pending order right now. Um, let's see. What's my spread? Let's go on over to the full pivot charts. All right. Spread's 1.9. Uh, let me fix this here. Okay, got the pending order in. Let's go ahead and take it back on over. Bitcoin's coiling. Let's take a look here. Put in a little bit of a triangle. You can see it right here. It's right here. I was looking to get into this pound, but it's right now it's ripper strong, along with the Australian dollar, just tearing it up. Uh, so yeah, um, hopefully we get a little stab down into our uh, buy order here. Something like this would be nice. Can't force the market. Wow, look at the uh, Australian US dollar absolute moonshot. Right out of the gate here, coming up into the daily take profit zone. Yeah, never gave us an opportunity. Uh, we uh, we were in. I was talking on Friday. We were in here during non-farm payrolls, um, and I was saying that this would be a good buy, except for we are in the uh, non-farm payrolls. Hindsight, it was a good buy. Um, didn't take it. Right, taking a look at here at Ethereum. Ethereum's getting really close to all-time new highs. Pulled back for a little bit while let uh, Bitcoin run. Now Bitcoin's consolidating and uh, Ethereum is making a move. Okay, very good here. Uh, I like this. Um, we are coming down to a central pivot on the year again. That's very good. Okay, we get a nice little consolidation. Maybe we'll get a good trade uh, for tomorrow. And uh, let's see here. The uh, 
Oh, I still don't have. Well, we're getting a little bit closer here on the CAD yen. I would like for that to bounce off the central pivot and uh, and then give us good trade probably by tomorrow on that one. Um, yeah, uh, looks like the pound is just ripper strong. And uh, I mean, as far as the pound US dollar goes, it's ripper strong. Uh, Bitcoin looks like it's really close to re breaking back out again. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to put this on my dark charts and let's flip this on over to. Yeah, so here we go. We're getting really tight in our consolidation. This is uh, good. If we start uh, putting in a couple of bullish candles in here, this we can start breaking out and making some more new highs. Okay, it is uh, 1.49 p.m. I'm looking for a uh, front run entry on my Euro Yen. Um, I want to come down just a little bit and I'm going to front run it. Um, let's see here. Another front run I'll be looking for is the Euro US Dollar. I never got the entry. It came, came kind of sort of close. Uh, came right down here. Still probably like 10, to 10 pips short of my entry. Maybe 5 pips short of my entry. So... Uh, I will still be looking for an entry here um, on the turn of the uh, shift change. Never came down to central pivot for the CAD yen. Look at Bitcoin. <whistles> Forming a consolidation. Be nice if we had a nice tight consolidation and then a continuation. Let's take a look at that. Yeah. Very nice. All right, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and take that now. Let's make sure I uh, copied over. There it is. Okay, it's in my prop firm account. And just drop a stop right now. And then uh, let's go ahead and head on over to my uh, full pivots. I'm just going to have to. Um, I'm just going to have to update my stop. But let's just put it under uh, my S1 for now. There we go. And uh, put this up here. We'll, we'll, we'll adjust that a little bit later. Okay. Okay, so it's uh, 2.55 p.m. We're about five minutes out from the end of the New York session. Let's go ahead and take it on over to the full pivot charts here. Take a look. And we are already in on our front run for the Euro Yen. Um, could not nail down a front run for the uh, Euro USD, but uh, I will be placing a pending order there. Uh, and my pending order for today never got hit on my pound US dollar. There's a five minutes out alarm right there. Um, and uh, everything else has not achieved its setup. Uh, so that's it. That's all we're going to be doing. We're going to be moving the uh, the entry order here for the pound dollar. And um, we're going to be setting up an entry for the uh, Euro USD. Uh, taking a look here at Bitcoin, we're uh. Still about uh, less than uh, two minutes out, and um, Bitcoin's on a rampage again. There we go. Making new highs. We'll take a look at that in a few minutes after we place our trades here. All right, here in just a few more seconds, spreads are starting to widen. Okay, there we go. We have lock right now. All right, let's go ahead and move this. 1.3 is my pip spread. Yep, it's at a good price right now. Let's try it one more time. Okay.
Take a look at the Euro USD separately here. Okay, yeah, it looks like an M5. Okay, I'll keep it. All right, what's next? The pound, dollar. Okay, we got that one done. Let's uh, fix our stop loss and take profit here. This is Euro Yen. Yep, okay. I'll feel comfortable with that, sure. Okay, let's go back into our full pivots and our last one to do is the pound dollar. All right, so our entry, oh, let's go back. That one took a really big spread, really big spread, wow. Okay, pound dollar. Okay, there we go. We got those in. Alrighty. Okay, there we go. So that concludes. Look at Bitcoin. Let's take a look here. There we go. Ooh. Wow. Okay, we're at uh, no, almost at forty-five thousand. Ah, ripping your face off. Okay, um, stay tuned, folks. Um, we're gonna find out where these trades go. Let's find out where Bitcoin goes. We'll see you in the next episode.